Hi, I've been meaning to do this video for years, and each time I change setup, um, I tell myself, uh, why don't I do them a video of how I set up? But today is a bit different because, well, one, I'm very pleased with this setup and I don't really want to change. And it's mainly due to this new software I've found since a few months and been using since uh, called VB Audio Matrix. And it's actually changed my life and I want to show you how. So um, I've got this super phone and hopefully it's filming uh, and I'll be um, showing how all this works. I I'm not doing any screen catching because I want to show you how this uh, setup is. I don't, well, I don't want to use my computer as screen capturing. So I'll be filming all this. So um, uh, this is my main computer. Uh, when I come in, I just switch it on. I've got a separate um, switch for uh, the sound so I can just use the computer without all the sound stuff. But I, I mainly switch on with the sound and um, this is my main interface. It's the Digiface USB. It offers me four in and out ADAT ports. That way I can have these three Behringer digital ultra game whatever things. And I've also got on the other side here uh, expert sleepers in and out uh, by, via ADAT. So these are what switches on automatically and it comes out by my main Adam speakers. Um, so the difference now is, well, and it comes out, goes into this passive um, sound. The main difference is I've got these different sides of my um, setup and I can kind of just switch some on. This way I can switch just these synthesizers and it all goes into my converters down here and then I can record it and here whatsoever and then same thing up here with my drum machines I just switch it on here Shklunk. and this now all switches on my effect pedals these are I'll show you all this afterwards and then this is all powered now too and then on the other side here, if I want to use this, this is when the matrix comes, because actually all this is already filling up all, more or less all my um, 32 inputs and outputs with the modular. Let's switch on the modular. Da -ding. Well, if I start uh switch up here, I'm also um, switching on another interface, which is the Audient Evo, um, which has eight inputs with gain that I can control via the computer. So that way, uh, if, I if I use these, I just switch on this interface. And of course, this is when Matrix comes into game, because if I switch Matrix on my computer, it loads it, ding, ding, ding. It recognizes both interfaces and then it makes one interface. I mean, I can, I can go up to three interfaces. So sometimes I use this Roland um, Torcedo, which offers me uh, two outputs and loads of inputs actually that are DC coupled. So it's quite fun. So this is my kind of um, effect box, mono to stereo and I've got the Bode frequency shifter. This I can just get hold of it via an extra interface, which I can launch up here. I just need to kind of say, hey, this is my interface. Uh, sorry. What do I want? I want my REM modular. And then there we go. It launches it. You can also add window devices and loads of things, and it's a very complicated and very, um, very well-made um, software. <clears throat> I've also got other interfaces in a room next door that you can't see. Um, so I, I can add an extra 32 inputs quite easily just by adding an extra interface. Um, and then... You open the matrix view, 
And here is my outputs. Do -do 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 -do. And my inputs are all over here. So it's quite easy to configure. It's a very well thought software. You just need to kind of flip things. And it just works. I mean, okay, my two interfaces are quite good, but I've got them both at 128 uh, on buffer sizes. And, um, well, it just all works, really. Uh, just if I launch Ripper, Ripper, I can... Uh, I can show you really how it works. So how is my setup done? I've got um, sequencers down below. I've got the SL 49SL M and K3. Then I've got the sequencer. So this is four tracks. This is eight tracks. Polyphonic. This is four. It's polyphonic too, but it's not really made to be polyphonic. You can do chords and things. Um, then I've got the Beat Step Pro and the Key Step Pro. So all this is largely enough to control all my synths. And is it working? Oh, it is. Let's put some sound. Oh, let's press record and get some sound. So there we are. Normally I'm recording everything now. Um, well, not the modular. Oh, there we go. So why is it all so quiet? Just quite quiet. Oh, why not? mess is only coming from uh, a small patch on my module. So, um, so I've, of course I didn't prepare anything, so this is all how I left it. Um, okay, let's see how, it, how the rest is going. So here on my um, keyboard, I've got the mono Monopoly normally. <laughs> which is on uh, art mode. No, it's here, it's on art mode. I don't want it here. And I want it polyphonic. So that's Monopoly, so, so it's Pro 1 now. Um, I've got drums here. This is a very bad example. So this is the 808. Let's just get rid of this. Oh. And here I've got the 909.
Oh, I forgot to do this. And then here I've got... Oh, he's out of tune. Of course I didn't tune anything either, because I just switched it on, you saw that. Um, wasn't synchronized. Um, yeah, you always have to kind of. Uh, I forgot here to synchronize it with the uh, USB and that kind of thing. It doesn't keep it safe for some reason. So, um, anyway, now it's synchronized. And then there's the, these tracks, so I can do as many as I want you know, bars or whatever. This is the Neutron. Of course, recording can help. And then... Um... Okay. Sound, of course. Um. Oh, yeah. Cobble. Um, I'm not playing music here. Uh, good old 2600, he's controlled by here, I think. That's it. Super out of tune. Oh no, this is um, o Odyssey. I recognize the out of tune there. Always have to tune in. Uh, so the arc is sorry, the arc is here. Uh... 
cabina That sequencer, he, that's controlling, um, for the moment it's controlling the call policy um, via four different tracks and well, I haven't programmed it, but just do different lengths to make it fun. I'm afraid. So then, this is the preset. And well, I'm not sure if that's been here, but somewhere. It's, oh, it's got a big bass thing too. Um, so that's the whole setup. Oh, I haven't even used up here. Same thing about the synchro synchro here. It doesn't keep in memory, so this won't probably be synchronized for the moment. Always need to start again. So the good thing is, I mean, I've got a patch bay behind. So I can have separate outs on the drum machines, which I have actually. I've got the, I've got the kick drum. And um, uh, then I've got also, with all these inputs and outputs, I've got loads of um, outputs which I can go through and I've got um, some analog pedals here that I can use as inserts or auxiliaries or whatever. Uh, it's quite fun. And I've also got, if I want an analog sound, I can switch on the TL Audio Summer. It's, um, and uh, I just set up an extra 8 bus um, summing or 16, but for the moment I've only got 8. And, um, and then it gives me a nice uh, summing, warm feeling. Um, and that's more or less it. So anyway, um, it really is fun to work here. Uh, if the, the future extensions will be... Uh, my Blue Marvin will go up here. Um, then I'll probably have an extra... a few synthesizers here um, that I'm hoping will come out in a few years. And um, so I'll probably then take an extra Evo uh, preamp. There's a good thing about um, all these interfaces is that you, you just use them as if you're using only them and then they're all summed up in, uh, in the metric mixer. So the Evo, uh, they've got digital um, controllable preamps. I do it all by software. and. Um, no, it's, it's really practical. And then it will, I'll probably get to another, another expert sleeper's uh, input and output and um, have some extra input and outputs. All, all this goes via ADAT uh, optical um, cables. And the Evo's got uh, two extra ones. So I've got the, the eight inputs for the moment. Um, and one will probably go to the next Evo and then one for an extra PS3 or something. And that's it, this is my great fun setup. And I'm really loving it. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the tour. Sorry about the bad filming, but anyway, that's the way I do things. Um, and hope to uh, see you 
see you soon in for January's. But they won't be live, I'm afraid, this year because I've got really, really bad internet for the moment. Maybe next year, but I've been saying that for a few years. See you soon.